What's up, YouTube? I'm a week late, but I'm back with my first video for today. Now, I don't know if I'm going to put this as the first, second, third, or fourth, because I do plan on dropping like four videos today, but <laughs> I held out long enough, bro. I was debating on if I wanted to react to this or did I just want to give it like a private listen alone. And I was just like, it's been a week and I still ain't listened to it. Now, I don't give a muff, <laughs> bro. I don't care if. This is gonna get one view, two views. I want to react to it because of me. I want to hear this junk because he dropped this out of nowhere. He's talking about something about to get ready to drop. I'm like, all right, bitch, say this. And he just dropped. I'm just like, you've been prepping for a while now. Like this, this kind of like unexpected. This ain't this ain't you. Like who is you? <laughs> like this? This kind of out of nowhere, my nigga. But we reacting to my dog Caleb Mitchell 25 album. Um, like I said, hella unexpected, but we here. And I'm glad that we here because, look, he been dropping single after single. I'm just like, I'm going to wait on the album. I ain't going to write to nothing yet because I be like, I know back then I write to like hella singles until the album dropped. I was just like, you know what? I'm going to wait until the album this time. And then he finally dropped the album. I'm just like, well, I did say I'm going to wait until the album. <laughs> but we're going to hop into it. We're going to see what's up. I ain't got no visuals, so I'm going to stay right here. Um, I'm gonna run it all the way through it's like it's 20 minutes long, so I'm gonna cut out all like the um, I'm gonna chop it up a little bit so I make it look good because it's been a while since I did an album reaction. My last album reaction was Kendrick Lamar's album, and that was like a good hour or some change that I had to cut up. But we're gonna hop into it, we're gonna see what's up. <clears throat> make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow all my social media in the description below. There are all um, the bad six. I'm ready. I've held out long enough. I'm here. What's up? The first song on the list is intro. Let's see what's up with this shit. Oh, you brought that back? Hold on, God. So for the first time. <laughs> okay. I see what type timing we on. Okay, my nigga. Now, honestly, I can relate to that. Because, bro, it took me a while to actually, like, because for people that don't know and are here from Caleb Mitchell, um, just shameless promo, I do music as well, but after trying to do music myself, it's hard to get back into like actually loving music, especially if you've done it for a while, especially if it's just something that you constantly did and you felt, I don't know, I, I never felt out of love with music. I kind of backed away from it. You feel me? Because I would get to the point to where I felt like what I was creating was stagnant and it wasn't going nowhere. Now, of course, I would have moments to feel like, oh, I feel like rain today and now I get in there, find a beat. And I'm stuck. And I don't know why I'm stuck. Now, of course, I can force myself to write something, but it'll be straight bullshit. I ain't trying to write no bullshit. I'm trying to have something. I'm trying to have people in their head. I'm trying to have folks, you know what I'm saying, think about what I wrote. Not over some stuff I just felt like writing because I will just push myself to write. You feel me? And I, <sighs> it's, it's one of those films where it's it sucks, but... When you do get back into the swing of things, you start loving music even more. Like right now, I have a song 
that I'm in love with that I plan on dropping soon. And I'm finally getting back to the point to where, like, I feel like I love my music, but I know I need to go harder with my music. You feel me? And right here, it kind of, shit, he kind of explained that, like, it's tough, bro. Like, it's tough to really, you know what I'm saying? It's e- I'm going to put it like this. It's easy to fall out of love with something that you've grown to love. It's, as much as I hate to say it, when it comes to music, it happens. But I'm not gonna speak too much on every song. Let's go hop into the next song. This song is called Amnesia. Back with Hold on. We're going to add a couple of them goddamn quotes into my goddamn uh my notepad real quick. Man, he said some shit. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of niggas. A lot of niggas out here will claim that they fuck with you. But let time pass. Alright. <laughs> Alright. But for real, like, it's just, you see just how folks act. I mean, I can understand because times right now are tough. Let's get honest. Life is, life got hands. If y'all ain't going through some shit right now, I know you having a good ass time because right now I'm going through some shit. You feel me? So if I'm going through something, I will hope. I mean, I'm not the only one because at this point, I feel like it's hell, you know. But when it comes down to like people who's going to rock with you, who's going to check up on you, who's going to sit here and, you know what I'm saying, be there for you in times like this, your phone dry. You ain't getting no calls. Ain't no emails coming in. Where the fuck y'all at? Oh, now, oh, you claim you fuck me, Amnesia? Like, come on, bro. Like, this right here, it's hitting home. It's hitting home. I ain't gonna lie to you. So, I already know I'm gonna come back and replay this one. But, like I said, I ain't gonna talk too much on it. Y'all can't hear from my reaction. It's gonna happen to the next song. The next song is Clear Out the Room. It's gonna happen to it. Yeah. I don't know what to say, bro. I don't. I have noticed that Caleb really got in his bag with beats like this. Because there's been an influx of beats like this and beats like that, like artists that do these type of beats. Like, I know there's a lot of uh, fans that tend to gravitate towards this side. Now, me, I fuck with it. Because, of course, everybody going to rock with it. But at the same time, like, I know that like, if I was rap over it, then I had to find a specific beat. Because I'm just like, bro, every time I hear it, I'm just like, I just feel like shaking my head. Like, at this point, I don't even know, <laughs> I don't even know what the hell I'm listening to. I just feel like just rocking out to it. We're going to hop into the next song. This song is called Down. I ain't got nothing else to say. We're going to hop to it. Yeah. Come on.
this track right here, dog. Like I was saying, like like I was saying before, bro. With this right here, it just lets you know, like you you can tell that he went through some shit during this time, like during like from "So Help Me God" to to now. You can tell that he was just like, bro, like niggas have really showed their true colors since then. You feel me? Niggas have really showed me who they really are, and if they fuck with me or not. You feel me? And shh, look. You can really, you can really take this either way. Like you can see, like all your folks was fucking with me back then, or you know what I'm saying. Back when I'm quiet and shit, nobody hit me up. But when I'm over here posting, doing me popping my shit, oh now y'all in my DMs, now y'all talking to me because y'all see I'm popping now. Like no, no, I ain't trying to hear that. Y'all ain't hold me down when she was tough, when she was fucking raggedy, when she was wicked out here. I wasn't here, but now y'all here. Nah. Mm -mm. Now this next song I've been hearing a lot about And I'm ready for it This is the one of the main songs I've been waiting for Now I haven't said that I did already Listen to it is what it is So I'm gonna skip that song Cause I already, I already heard it I can't give you a fake reaction to that I'm not gonna do that to y'all But the next song right here Is called You And I'm ready for it A lot of people say they fuck with this one And it's one of their favorites So I'm Let's go ahead and see. Let's go and see why is they favorite. You feel me? Bro, that bass line go crazy. Yeah. Come on, Falsetto. What? What? Huh? Come on. That jump right there, that's a fucking vibe. That's a damn vibe. <laughs> I see why everybody been talking about this motherfucker. Man, this nigga over here singing. Okay. Singing it, nigga. Okay. Go ahead, then, sir. I feel it. I feel it. Nigga brought the falsetto out, shit. Nigga brought the regular voice in the falsetto. I'm like, okay, shit. Then during the whole song in falsetto, I'm like, shit. Hey, props to you, my nigga, shit. I be holding on to my falsetto by like this much, nigga. But hey, a fucking bop, you hear me? And this one of them just that like I would just like ride to. You feel me? Just like putting put that gun on in the car and just ride to that motherfucker, like. So damn bop, bro. Like, <laughs> the fuck, fuck wrong with you? Hold me down is the next song. I'm tripping. I'm gonna skip the whole song. I didn't even know I was here playing you. <laughs> the next song on the list is Hold Me Down. All right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, now. Nah. Say that. Hey, this nigga really in his R and B bag. I said this nigga Caleb in his R and B bag, bro. I feel like if anything, this nigga. Every time I say it, I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I don't think y'all hear me enough. If y'all are hearing me, please say y'all are so I can start saying it. But this nigga versatile, mad versatile, rapping, singing, literally doing it all, nigga. Yo, this nigga just now started showing his face face a lot. This nigga don't show his face like that. <laughs> this nigga over here making damn near short music videos and shit. I'm like, like nigga, you never show your damn face and then shit. Come on, bro. All black. Ne need I say mo at this damn point? Y'all see why he in my damn intro. He's been in my damn intro for years now. <laughs> Since damn near the start of my channel, you feel me? Had this nigga as my intro. He's been one of my favorite artists. And, bro, he's only getting fucking better. And I already know that coming next year, he's going to be on his shit. Because last year, he dropped So Help Me God 2. And then the Deluxe, I think around November or December last year. But then he dropping this shit. Like, he dropped this on his birthday, I think. Because he named it 25, so I think he dropped it on his birthday. It'll make sense. But at the same time, I was, I was so damn surprised. I was just like, whoa, you feel me? Like, it caught me off guard. But... Overall, I'm excited for what this nigga got next. Now, I know he probably, you know what I'm saying, in this chill era doing his own shit, you feel me? But I already know he going to be cooking some shit. He probably already had some shit cooked up. This nigga, bro, I still got fucking recordings of fucking, like, demos this nigga made that he hasn't dropped yet. Demos. And then he just ain't dropped the shit. <laughs> like, back in, like, 2019, I think. He previews some shit. I probably put it on the screen. If I don't, then shit, I'm just gonna keep it to myself. But overall, just know this nigga definitely got some extra shit. He just, you know what I'm saying? He keeping it tough, which I can understand. <laughs> I'm, I'm the same way. I'm not. Look, if I got some shit and I know it's gonna be some shit, I do not want to let this shit go. I ain't gonna lie to you. But we're gonna hop into the next song, um, which is honestly the last song. It's Running Up Feet Lock Cage. Okay, I'm proud of my dog, bro. I'm honestly proud of my dog. Because this is how I'm going to put it, bro. I know it can be frustrating as an artist to get back into something 
that you love, but you like this is this is my thing. I, I'm trying to find the best way to really put it. But getting back into something and grabbing your passion back. You know what I'm saying? I feel like with me, I'm I'm just speak for a personal experience. Every time I try to get back into music or even try to find some inspiration for it. I lose it instantly because I get the writing. I get the, you know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out how I'm going to slide on this beat. And then I just start thinking, I'm like, why isn't everything piecing itself together? You feel me? Because I'm so used to, you know what I'm saying? Listen to others or listen to my friends music that I get inspired, but I don't have that, that drive. You feel me? That want to make something. And I feel like that want to make something really gets you there. You know what I'm saying? It gets you to to point A to point B. And I feel like I'm stuck at point A and I'm trying to figure out how to get to point B. Because it's easy to find a damn beat. But putting the lyrics together, because you don't want to put no bullshit together. That's just me. I don't want to put no bullshit ass lyrics together and then be like, all right, I got a song. No. I want that shit to mean something. I want that shit that, you know what I'm saying, to really feel and hit home with somebody. And I feel like when it comes to these songs right here, I feel like he realized who the fuck really rocking with him. And I feel like that's why I gathered, listen to all these songs. When I first listened to It Is What It Is, that's what I first gathered. I'm like, oh, this nigga went through some shit. Now when I listen to everything, I'm just like, yeah, somebody definitely showed their true colors or he just... He went through a point to where, like, he got, I don't know. He started to really love music again because, like he said, shit, he just now got to that point to where he really liked what he's putting out or what he's creating. And it's hard to get to something like that and stay there. Because, of course, you can make some music and be like, I don't fuck with this. Because, I, honestly, I made hella freaking drafts of my shit and did not like none one of them. People be like, oh, well, turn that to a song. No, I don't fuck with it. But you, you rap to it, yeah. But I don't see it as a complete song. I don't see myself putting that shit out there to the world to let folks hear. And that's just me. Of course, I like how, what I did with it, but can I see it put been put on the album? Nah. Shit, probably on somebody else's shit if they want to feature it. <laughs> but, like, that's just how I see shit, bro. Like, I'm real critical of myself. I'm my biggest hater. And I know that. Like, I'll literally be like, well, shit, I ain't like that song. But, like, oh, I fuck with that song. I love it. I don't like it. I ain't putting that shit out. It, it will literally sit there in my dress. I got shit that's been sitting since 2018 that I ain't touched. And I will never touch because it's just going to sit there. Of course, I'll give it my personal listen, but it's just something I just won't touch. But I feel like with every artist, they get to a point to where they will have these type of moments to where they're just like, I'm burnt out. I don't like, they don't even want to do no music. If they do music, then they just get to a point to where like, like he was doing with uh, what was it? He did, I think it was nine seven three, nine seven three. The album in the beginning part, he was over. Um, uh, you had the fucking lightning sounds in the background. When he was over there ripping pieces of paper over jotting down lyrics and shit. I feel like that's what I be doing. You feel me? You get to the point to where you just start writing shit together or start putting lyrics together, and then you just scrap it because you don't fuck with what you're saying right now. You don't fuck with the mindset that you're in. You, then with me, I'll come back the next day. <laughs> And see if I'm fucking with what I'm putting out now. You feel me? But overall, I'm fucking with this album. If I had to say two personal favorites are definitely Amnesia and You. Those two right there. And it is what it is. Cause I love it is what it is. I played that shit to and from every damn fucking day. So definitely it is what it is. You and Amnesia. And I'm going to go back and listen to them just when I finish this recording. But overall, I do want to know what y'all thought about my reaction in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Follow all my social media in the description below. They are all my dope ass. If you do want to check out Caleb's album for yourself without my commentary, it will be in the description below. Just check out Caleb Mitchell in general. Like Y'all see that I never really do these type of album reactions. But for my dog, for sure. For sure. Like, every damn time I even get a chance to react to an album, I don't care if it's a week late, a day late, I'm here. I'm here. 
late as hell, but I'm here. <laughs> but I'll check y'all my second video. I just wanna cut loose, snip, fuck a jaw, fuck it. I can be my own boss, on oh God. Uh -huh. Just come up home, check, check. 